it's super quick. What you're not going to do is fill the bowl and splash. OK. Because all you're doing is splashing the dirt back onto your face. I think face. people use wipes because they're worried about getting their hair wet. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you suddenly dunk your face in a big thing. <laughs> not being funny, Holly, but that's just unacceptable. <laughs> Right, don't do this for half an hour. You've just cleaned yeah. your hands. OK. So, oh. a pump straight onto dry skin. You don't yeah. have to wet your face first. If you think, when you've been for a facial, Phil, they don't wet the skin first. Yes. You know, straight in. All round. Excuse me while I try and just do this without a mirror. But I have been doing it for nearly 50 years, so it's good. No, it's good. And then, literally, you want ideally water from the tap. Flannels. Think of your mum. How did she wash you when you were a kid in the bath? Yeah, flannels. Flannel all over your face. And you say get seven flannels and then wash them every day. <sighs> I'd get eight, so that if you do one wash a week, you've still got one for wash day. Oh, OK. So turn it on its side, nice big triangle, all over. Excuse me while I go quiet. <laughs> or as my husband calls it, happy time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, look. So essentially you've that washed your face. That is not quicker. Oh, wow. It's not quicker to use a wipe. Yeah. Okay. And so, but not just once. You're not just going to. No. Do... If you're wearing makeup and SPF, they are designed to stick to your skin like glue. You need to remove them properly, and a wipe is not going to do that. So you need, and so you do a double cleanse. I would do a double cleanse. Normally, I'd do another pump and go straight back in. Right. Okay. But it's TV, and I want to get. No, it. no, no. That's um, not right. And then word on flannels, they don't have to cost a fortune. Go by a budget. I'd rather you put your money into the product if you can afford it. MS do lovely rich ones. They're like one pound sixty. We'll co do them for thirty five p. Right. No excuses. So I thought if we start with what you know, if you're, you've got teenagers, yeah. How do you get them into a good habit? Yeah. So we're going to start with SPF, and we're going to finish with what you can do internally. So if you've got, you know, your children get spots and they don't want to wear it, especially if they're doing makeup. Mm -hmm. SPF, if you start them young, then it's the habit they take the rest of their life. See, time. when you're a teenager, you just think, I don't need to worry about all of that. I've got I years am immortal. I start... Exactly. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, nothing is a problem. But if you get them using it, I would also make sure, though, that you do get them to remove it properly. See previous. So this isn't just, um, this isn't just when you're in the sun. This no. is like every day. Every day. It's yeah. like before they go to school, yeah. they're popping this on. This yeah. is just daily routine. Daily. Just get them into the routine. And, and do then they need a moisturiser as well as that? or Go by the skin type. OK. If they're tra traditionally sort of teenage skin, greasy combination, I could, you could just do an SPF. Okay. If they're particularly dry, then yes. Right. Moisturiser, right. SPF set. And they does do that work OK things. alongside a sort of spot regime as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And it's the last thing you put on your face. Fine. Okay. Before your makeup. That's the divider. OK. Now, let's assume teenagers, they grow up, they leave home, they come back like a boomerang, we know. But uni... With the dirty washing. Starting always, and food. Wanting food. <laughs> Uni's um, first job, and also the other sort of ex extreme stress they may have on their skin from drinking and smoking and partying. Yeah. Vitamin C. So a topical vitamin C is what you need to help just give them an antioxidant protection. Right. So you do that and then you go with your SPF. Do you want to have a little bit? So go? SPF continues throughout the whole of your SPF life. SPF is the rest of time. But vitamin C, vitamin topically... Vitamin C, topically... Because we know your, how good it is for our insides. Yep, under your moisturiser and that's... 20s, so you've done teens and 20s. Then okay. you bring both of those to your 30s. OK. So you get to your 30s and you think, I can see signs of where I went wrong when I was younger, sunbathing, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So you're going retinol. Oh, uh, OK. Vitamin A, we should call it vitamin A, but it's just known as retinol. Um, when I said last time about the bookends and then you're going to go for spend your money in the middle, this is where, if you can, you spend your money. So this is cheap as chips, mm -hmm. super drug. Um, Grand active retinoid. In this version, it's called hydroxypenicolone retinoate. It almost sounds like pina colada. I like it. Yes. That's taking you back to your <laughs> excessive <laughs> aggressives there. Um, so if you can, if you're on a budget, I always say if you would spend it on a handbag, spend it on your face. Right, OK. That's a good budget for girls. And what does it do, then? It stops the So, so a vitamin A is, uh, helps collagen support, it um, helps pore size, it resurfaces, it helps with pigmentation. And it okay. genuinely does this stuff. It's just not a gimmick. These... SPF and vitamin A are the only two ingredients that, in the USA in particular, you can legally claim on TV that they are anti-aging. Right. Okay. Wow. Proven. So here's the thing. Kids leave home, they go to uni, and they start getting bad spots. Why? Because they've left your diet, mm. they're eating rubbish, they don't change their bedding. Mum changes your pillowcases. How often do you think a uni student changes their bedding? Right. Can, can a dirty pillowcase cause spots? It, it just helps to keep... You want to keep it clean. OK, so things like probiotics. We know that there's a big link between gut health and things like depression, mm. healthy mind, but it's also really good for the skin. So I'm not saying it's going to cure anything, but it certainly gives you a head start mm. and it helps to get good bacteria into your gut. So at least if you're taking care of one area, you can then focus on the other. OK. 
Things like salicylic acid. So there are lots of acids on the market, and I'm a big advocate of using them in the right way. This is Paula's choice. This is a BHA. It's beta hydroxy acid. Now, this is like Pac-Man. So it gets onto the spot and it kind of eats away at the mm. gunk and unclogs it. That sounds amazing. It you is, but you it? can go too far. So people go too far and they use it all over and the face. And you've just got like a dump on your head where all your skin was. <laughs> so you just Pretty put much. a tiny bit on. Yeah, you, I mean, with this one, you can, it is designed to be used all over if you have a combo skin. But oh. if you've got a big hormonal, I call them Gibraltar. If you get Gibraltar on your chin and you know it's bright red and it's not really doing anything, how do you do it? If you go in to pick that, you're going to have a problem. You make it worse. Yeah, unless you can see a whitehead, don't even think about touching it. And if you can see something and you think, oh, I might just see if I can get that off. Things like acid. So this is first aid beauty pads. Let me give you one of these. Take one of those. I've loosened them for ease. Okay. This has glycolic and lactic acid. And then you're going to rub this. So if, let's say you've cleansed your face and you've knocked the spot. Or you've got one that you know is primed and juicy and ready to go. You're going to rub it all over the area. Mm -hmm. It will sting, it's acid, it will sting. You're going to rub it all over the area, but what you're doing is if you've just picked that area, you're going to kill the bacteria. So you pick it first, then use this. I'm saying if you, if you haven't been able to help yourself or you've knocked it when you're cleansing, sometimes oh, they I knock see. off. Go in there, rub it with the acid, and then hold it really tightly on the skin. This is going to stop you scarring. Yeah. Mm. Because if you've got blood flow, you're not going to scar. If you do scar, is there a way of... Because I've got, like, scars, little scars left from spots I had, like, when I was a teenager that you think... That's more of a laser. That's in a oh. clinic situation. You're not going to get rid of an old scar with anything over the right. counter. Do you know the thing is, I have a problem. Yeah. I always have a problem. Uh, we had Alice, Alice Beer here yeah, yeah. and showed us a riverbank that actually had... It was like an island Yeah, of, I saw mm. the wet wipe. Yeah, saw the wet wipe. Absolutely. Is that so plastic? Is there any plastic in there? Well, it will well, be it's cotton the pad, it'll have rayon in it. Yeah, so, it so, so... I'm with you, but you can do things like this. You can go... Yeah. There's plenty of liquid. These are more for ease for Tisha on Delhi, but there are more liquids than there are pads. Right, yeah. okay. So don't worry about that score. And then, when you've done your acid, you're going to go straight in with an oil, and this does the exact opposite of what everyone says, exactly that face. So, if you go... So, for example, jojoba oil is the uh, closest oil to the body sebum, to the sebum in the skin. So your skin doesn't react to it, it doesn't go, oh, I'm going to block this pore. And it's super, super light. So you and literally... Natural. Totally. So if you take it as you would there, and you dab it and hold it on the spot, you can have a go, and it's no obviously fragrance-free, it's I've natural, never heard and that rub before. it round. And I call it nuking and then comforting it. So you nuke it with the acid, and then you go in softly with the oil, and what the oil does is it moisturises the area, because the thing about drying out spots is you don't only dry out the spot, you dry out the entire area and around then, it, yeah. then you pick it, and that's when you scar. Wow. Well, that I didn't you wouldn't know. Think, you wouldn't think that that something that was as oily as that would yeah. be... But then if you think, think of... Go of in if you're going to do a it. teeny bit and you rub it, and what will happen is it might come to your head again and then you just gently... It'll gently come off and it will slowly heal and you go back to your normal skincare routine. Um, what we have is a mixture of hormonal mm. and stress. Now, Jess, a big round of applause, has just finished uni and is now a lawyer. Congrats. Oh, well wow. done, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> she also, though, went on a bit of a bender. Oh, right, <laughs> And okay. it was her brother's 18th. Oh, well, you've yes. got to do that. So there's some alcohol issues. Mm -hmm. Not with her, with her skin. <laughs> <laughs> Her mother's going, what? <laughs> what a time to tell us on the television. <laughs> so, I, I, you don't have to do this at home, but it is not my skin. So, here, now, this is a prime red, but there's nothing to pick. Yeah, there yeah. Doesn't, it looks like right? it's under the there's skin there. There's nothing there. However, if we move up, see this nice little white head here, right between the eyes? Oh, yeah, and the old eyebrow. Now, this is also, I'm just going to get my tissue, this is also a bit of stress. We had a long talk about stress, didn't we? And now you're not stressed and they're all going to go away. <laughs> also quite common with girls and boys, obviously, who thread or pluck, anything like that. Ah, uh, because it's... OK. Blocks. Clean. Everything has to be so clean. You can't do it when you're wearing makeup, and that's why I always say don't pick into a, mi in a magnifying mirror if you've already got your foundation on and things. Mm. Clean skin. Not everyone's got latex gloves. They don't need them. That'll frighten your parents if yes, you find those under them. the bed. <laughs> so, Non-latex, uh, so make sure you wash your, wash your yes. hands. Everything's clean and tissue, and obviously... So you don't need to steam the skin or do anything like that? You, if you have to steam, I think you should leave it to the pros like us. Oh, personally. Oh, really? I used to bat hot water in the head of a bowl. We're going to have to have words. <laughs> right. I mean, that, you, that you're in danger. You knock that you, off and you can I scold know, yourself. You true. could, but only if, say, you wanted to make this really juicy and ready to go. And it's really simple. If it's ready to go, you should literally be able to do that and it's out. And you so can't when you say do it. that, what did you do? Push down and No, in? yeah, you come... Now, I can feel under there that there is a hair about to come out. Can you feel that? It's like an ingrown it's hair. It's an ingrown hair, yeah. So you come down alongside the spot, up and then up. You don't do this. There's oh. none of this and there's none so of this. So you're almost going under you it. Go to the sides of it, like side, across and up. The exit and if, is if here, down, do here and out there. Out, 
exactly your exits are here, here <laughs> and there. If, if, it, you, if it doesn't come out first time, leave it alone? If it does not come out first time, but you think you've, you've got one more go, you can, we, we would have two or three goes in the clinic. After that, leave it. Don't poke at it, don't use pens or pins or oh. needles. <laughs> leave that to us, please. OK. And don't scar. Now, after this, I'm going to put a quick bit of salicylic acid on. Yeah. Literally, this is going on straight onto a bit of cotton. Perfect, and it's even called what is that teen mean? skin. This is going to make sure that it kills off any bacteria, and then I'm going to go in with a zero zit, which is a nice clear gel, straight onto it. So cleansing is key. In the morning, you're going to do a quick, just a quick refresh cleanse, preferably mm. not in the shower, it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Ah. That's usually when all the men go. <sighs> but if you can get out of the shower and go to the sink, and your there. skin's nice and warm, and it takes seconds. I, I used to get people, they don't do it now because they know me, but I used to get people going, I haven't got time. I'm like, I work full time, I've got four children, if I can do it, you can do it. Mm. OK. And then, I'm, you know, you've got time to put the makeup on and spend an hour putting it on. Take five minutes to take it off. Yeah. You can do your whole routine. Now, in the middle is where you take care of all your skin conditions, where you take care of um, maybe your anti-ageing side, your vitamin Cs, your retinols, things like that. But for the bare minimum and basics and bookending your routine, yes. you want a good cleanse and a good, good moisturise. Moisturize. So, Neutrogena, Perfect range if you think, I'm really oily, I don't want anything heavy. Look how this texture is just beautiful. Is that like a, do you mind? Go, please. It's like a little, it's almost like a gel, isn't it? Yeah, really gel. And they do ones that have, they have ones that are a bit richer. They have yeah. ones that are, um, they're oil free. So you can just go to the shelf and all of these are available high street. Boots, Superdrug. You... <laughs> I, I like that different. result. If you think that wasn't enough for me, Caroline, thanks. I'm a bit older, a bit drier. Not you, obviously. <laughs> then... <laughs> well, I, I am. With all the, uh, I need, <laughs> you've been on hold. Really, you need some really dry. I know I do. So you might like this one. So this is Rose and Mallow. This is um, Neil Jard. Again, available everywhere. You'll see the difference immediately. Slightly richer. Mm-hmm. Can I give it a go? Please. Oh, it is slightly richer. It's like cream cheese. But not... And I'm going to go in with this one, actually. Oh, it smells so good. And you don't need a ton of product. Again, onto your fingers. Nothing, you don't need too much. You want grip, not slip. If you're putting your, your skincare on and your, and your makeup feels greasy, go cut back on your moisturiser. And sometimes moisturisers react with your foundation and they go yeah, like... Yeah, that's silicone. Ah. So you won't get that with Neil Jard. Right. But you might get it a little bit with the Neutrogena. If you're using the Neutrogena and it's in a silicone base and then you put a silicone primer on or a foundation, you might get some. You they may not. fight with each other. Yeah, exactly. And then <laughs> something we hate doing in England and Ireland and Wales and Scotland, SPF. I cannot hammer it home hard enough. But you've got one skin, take care of it. Otherwise, when you get to 40, 50, 60, yeah. you'll get all the, all the pigmentation that's coming through on me now, <laughs> looking beautiful, I'm sure, you do. Is, is from when I was a kid. Yeah. I was raised in the States, in the South. And in the 80s, we used, they used to sell foil beds for the beach. Oh and you'd be God. with Hawaiian Tropic number two. So this is Body Shop Skin Defence. Feel this for texture. It is because Beautiful. I think that's why, oh god, it really is, it absolutely disappears. SPF 50. Because people think it. when you put sun cream on, it's going to be thick under your makeup. Or yeah, and gonna... the worst thing we do is we that's slather really nice. our children in SPF and then we don't take care of ourselves. Yeah. Now, we have a more traditional, would you, are you happy with the word acne yeah. skin? Which again came on in an old age. Not everyone is a teenager. This is right. another thing that's important to remember because any woman who suddenly comes off any contraception, that was hormonal, oh. is going to have a skin like a teenager because your hormones just do this. Right, right, right. So, again, what we've done is left what we could have. Now, we could, if we wanted to, see if you can come in here. Yes, There's, like, tiny, tiny little one. white heads. Mm -hmm. I think, I said to Courtney afterwards, now, I could get those out, but if it was you, I'd say leave it for a couple of days because what you're going to find is when you cleanse, that's going to knock off with a flannel anyway. Right, OK. OK? So, if you're drawing product out, we go straight back to our standy old jojoba. Yeah, this was a revelation yep. when you said this the From other Neil day. From the it's the it's the most um, the oil that's most close to the skin's natural sebum. So we're not going to cause any further harm. Right. Okay. And then to draw out, you've got things like Sunday Riley makes a specific oil, and it's called UFO Acne Treatment Face Oil. Mm. So if we were to take a couple of drops of this, and I'm leaving all the girls with the product too, so they can be our dummies literally, and apply it tonight. Tomorrow, the next day, it will either go back in on itself or it will come to a head. And when Courtney and cleanses, we, it will come off. People watching this going, oil on spotty skin? Are you joking? 100%. But it's the... If it's the right oil. If it's the right oil. OK. So her home was close to sebum. There are other oils that would just clog the pores. OK.